I pray right now the chains will be broken. Generational curses will be shattered. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I ask you that your precious presence right now, that Jesus will become real. That the Holy Spirit will make Jesus real to them. Break up anything that is not of you off of them right now, God. Every religion, everything that's not of Jesus, fill them with your Holy Spirit right now. Fill them with your fire right now. Reveal Jesus, Lord. Reveal Jesus, Lord, right now. Let Jesus become real. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Devil will lie to you and say, because you're suffering, because you have torments, because you fall into the same sin. Holy Spirit doesn't want to do anything to do with you. But I want to slap the devil today right in his face and say in verse 2, in the beginning in the Bible, God made it very clear. You can be in darkness, you can be in struggle, and the Spirit of God is still going to inhabit and incubate your life. that are on live stream right now. Every person engage with me right now. Let's pray together. I'm not praying alone, I'm praying with you. In the name of Jesus, we come against right now every single snake of insecurity. We come against every voice of the enemy that torments you at night or during the day. In Jesus' mighty name, we speak God's freedom to come right now in the name of Jesus. Where you are watching us or re-watching this service, may God's anointing come and bring liberty and deliverance right now. I speak healing to that orphan heart that abused heart right now. I speak right now that there will be a change of diet, a change of feeding, a change of focus in your life in the name of Jesus. May God minister to you in your room right now. May His anointing bring freedom from rejection, abandonment. May, may, may that thing be broken over your life today in the name of Jesus. Especially those who can't sleep at night because you hear voices and the torments. We speak freedom right now to come. God's peace to come. God's liberty to come in that area of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years. I want you to see this. They're walking to His miracle. With Jesus, they're walking to His resurrection, to this Father's resurrection. Many steps are being taken. And then there's an interruption. What a woman who never asked Jesus, she stops Jesus and she gets her miracle by one touch. And Jesus stops, gives her so much attention and Jairus is standing there impatient. Come on Jesus, come on Jesus, you gotta come to my house. You gotta come to my house. My daughter, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, this woman, she, she wasn't first. I was first to ask you. I was first to beg you. Jesus stops and does not continue to walk and He attends to someone else. When you begin your personal walk with Jesus, when Jesus begins to resurrect your personal revival, you will experience a stop of Jesus where it will feel like the Lord doesn't do anything and then at the same time you will see other people on the side who what, what you're praying for for years they got by a touch you're believing for years and you're walking with God but God stopped for you He's not moving. It seems like he got stuck here. He's not moving further toward your miracle and then you're seeing other people. They get it by a touch. What takes you time? I just have a word for somebody in this room today. Just because Jesus stopped and somebody got something quickly but it takes you years to get that breakthrough. Jesus is still on the way to your house.